and it's possible to model buildings of different heights by using spaghetti noodles. And you need a little weight on the top. In this case, we're using uh, raisins, but you could use little marshmallows. And one might think that uh, given that they're all located in the same location, they'll all shake the same in an earthquake. And what's interesting is if you shake rapidly, like a, maybe a local earthquake would come in and all the spaghetti noodles would uh, shake the same, or in the case that we were modeling buildings, these would be buildings that are all shaking in a similar way. But if the vibrations are slow or low frequency, the tall building will tend to vibrate the most. And for a little bit higher frequency, the middle building might vibrate more. For high frequencies, the short building might vibrate more. In fact, if they, the reason it's important is if the building vibrates too much, it can actually break.